Right now, it seems as if everybody I know is sick. And so far, my family and I have yet to get it. Some may call it luck, some may call it a really strong immune system, and some may call it time to give a lot of gratitude to the plants. And while there are tons of herbs out there that can strengthen your immune system, how in the heck can we make it yummy enough to actually wanna take those herbs? Or even more challenging than that, you might be wondering how in the heck you can get your family and your kids to take them. So stick around because inside this video, I'm going to share my three best tips to get herbal remedies in my kiddo's body. And I'll even share the most irresistible immune boosting recipe yet. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can discover more ways to use plants as medicine in a safe, effective, and super tasty way. Everyone I talk to has been sick, whether it's COVID, colds, flu, or who knows what in the heck, they're all just sick, sick, sick. And it's nuts. I feel so fortunate for my family and I that so far we've remained well. I do feel like our time has gotta be coming soon though. Though when I say that, everyone I talk to, it's been via text or social media because I'm super fortunate that I pretty much don't go anywhere or I have no life. I just go to my house, my shop, and I walk on the river trail behind my house. So I've been able to avoid most of the rapidly spreading viruses so far. And I am so thankful because I hear it is a real doozy for so many. So by now, you may be wondering, but how in the heck do you do it, Mel? And that is a really great question. And it, other than the fact that I follow commonly known safety measures, like I have no outside life or I stay away from darn near everyone. And I really spend a lot of time in nature. Well, wait for it, because this may come as a huge surprise to you, but I use plants to support and strengthen my immune system. What? Who knew, right? <laughs> I mean, if you've been following me for a while, then you know by now that I'm pretty adamant about the safety and the efficacy and the sustainability of plant medicine. I mean, I've pretty much dedicated my whole entire life to the study and use of plants as medicine. It's really a lot of fun. And now I'm here to dedicate my life to helping more people like you to use plants as medicine in a very safe and effective and well, a tasty way. Cause let's face it, if it's not tasty, it's going to be really hard to take it, let alone make it a part of your daily lifestyle. And this tasty part is super duper important when it comes to our kids, am I right? If I am, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've also got issues getting your kids to take your homemade remedies. Okay, so I said I'd give you my three best tips for making immune boosting herbal remedies that my kid absolutely cannot resist. So how do I do it? I'm gonna go ahead and let you pause this, grab a pen and paper because you might want to write this down. Okay, got that? Cool. So the number one thing I do when it comes to making herbal remedies yummy is I use honey. And there are several reasons why I use honey to get herbs into my family's body. The obvious one being honey is friggin' yummy, right? And it's also a really good preservative to infuse uh, some of those not so yummy herbs into. Then you can just add it to a cup of tea later and you're pretty much golden. You get the medicine of, medicine of the herbs you're using and you're good. And another reason I use honey is because it's jam packed with health benefits on its own. When you're using a local raw honey, you're also getting tons of phytonutrients. Yes, honey is loaded with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants to fight off those free radicals and oxidative stress. And not only that, honey's got its own antimicrobial properties to it. 
So that means it's not only just yummy in the tummy, it also helps to fight off foreign pathogens like the same viruses and bacteria that can get so many people sick. Bonus, right? And there's a lot more to it. There's so many immune boosting herbs you can infuse with your honey. I cover a lot of them in my Herbs for Immune Health program. It's pretty much like there's this endless world of plant medicine for us all to use. So then you've got this honey, you've infused it with these great herbs, and from there, it is so easy to take. You can spread it on a slice of an apple, or again, you can add it to your cup of tea, or if you're like my daughter, you can eat it by the spoonful. Really, just do whatever makes you happy. Are you ready for the second yummy herbal remedy tip? Cool, so here it comes. Another way I get my daughter to take some really rockin' immune-boosting herbs is to make a glycerite tincture out of them. A what, you say? I say a glycerite. So it's not really a tincture, but it is very similar to a tincture. And if you don't know what one of those are, um, they're basically an alcohol and water-based extract of a plant. It's a really great way to get the alcohol and water-soluble parts of a plant out of the plant and that way you get to make great medicine and put them into your body. But the problem becomes when you have kids, it can be really harsh for them or they just really hate the taste of the alcohol. Understandably so, because it's not always so delicious. So in this case, I like to make a glycerin extraction for my daughter and she happens to really love glycerin with echinacea. So much so that this past summer, we were out on a rafting trip and we brought along one of her friends. I check in my rear view mirror of my mom van and I see these two little eight year old girls just dropping tinctures into each other's mouths, like totally dosing each other with herbal remedies. It was pretty hilarious. So let that be a warning for you. <laughs> Never let your kids be alone with an herbalist mom or they might get spontaneously dosed with immune boosting herbal remedies. I think one of the funny things there is that that same girl comes to play at our house a lot. And almost every time she comes over to play, she tells me about her and her brother and how he took all of her echinacea tincture and she needs more from me. It's really, really cute and I love it. Okay, so far we've talked about herbal honeys, we've talked about herbal glycerites, two excellent ways to get herbal medicine that actually can happify your taste buds into your body. Which again, is really, really important because if your taste buds aren't happy, nobody's happy. And then you're not gonna take the herbs because they're just gonna collect this dust in your cabinet. Then you're gonna think that herbs don't work and then you're gonna be running to the drugstore to catch all of that mystery junk that has that bright red or oddly green or blue or whatever kind of syrup color. I mean, it's gross. And it's seriously not what we're looking for. Okay, that's a bit of my soapbox moment. And now my temporary rant is over. Thank you so much for understanding. <laughs> Let's get back to making irresistible herbal remedies that can strengthen your immune system and nourish your body too. So this next one is an absolute favorite and it's pretty much a great super powered magic trick. You ready? I make elderberry popsicles. Yes, I totally make elderberry popsicles. And it's like I'm this super stealth ninja sneaking herbs into my kiddo's body. And you know what else? It's chock full of healthy fruits and vegetables too. So if you're ready, I have a great recipe for you. Okay, you ready? Cause here it comes, pen and paper. I use half a cup of elderberry syrup. If you don't know how to make your own elderberry syrup, I have a blog post about that. I've also got a DIY elderberry syrup kit over at mountainmels.com that you can order. I'll link to it in the notes below. It's super easy to make, super duper yummy. You save a lot of money compared to buying elderberry syrup on the store shelves. And those are nowhere near as potent as making your elderberry syrup from this kit anyways. Okay, so you got that half 
cup of elderberry syrup. Then you're gonna use one cup of fresh or frozen organic blueberries, one and a half cup fresh or frozen organic strawberries, half a cup of beets because veggies, uh, one cup of greens, also a great way to get your veggies in. You can use kale, you can use your beet greens, you can use spinach, whatever you need. You can do half a cup of coconut milk. I like to do homemade coconut milk. Bring on one cup of fresh pressed apple juice and one tablespoon of fresh lime juice. You're gonna pour all of that goodness into your blender, blend it on up, taste it, adjust it to your liking. If you need it a bit sweeter, you can add more apple juice or more of that tasty antimicrobial honey we talked about. And when it's perfected and happifying the heck out of your taste buds, you're gonna pour it into your favorite popsicle molds and freeze it overnight. The next day, you will have kiddos filled with joy and boosting their immune systems, which is pretty ideal during a pandemic and even when we're not in a pandemic. So I really hope that you try this recipe. And if you do, please leave me a comment about it below. Let me know how you liked it or your kiddos liked it. And if you found this video to be helpful, please share it with your friends and give me a big old thumbs up down below. That way, together, we can make herbalism, hashtag spread like wildflowers. Oh. And if you're ready to make even more tasty immune boosting remedies, you'll definitely wanna grab my cold and flu busters in your kitchen cabinet download. I share a bunch of medicines you've already got and recipes for them as well. And I'm about to have a very exciting class come up. It's all about the secrets the big drug companies don't want you to know. Here's a hint, there's medicine all around you. You can register for the class at theherbalistpath.com forward slash big secrets. And with that, I thank you so much for taking the time to tune into this video. It's absolutely my honor and greatest pleasure to share this stuff with you. Enjoy your journey down the herbalist path.